We good? We mm -hmm. on? How's it going, guys? Local John 1812. Uh, what's up? J-Ride 84. All right, guys. So, today's been a crazy day already. Yeah. Needless to say, college basketball for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been absolutely nuts. Of course, you know, let's say we're both Kentucky fans, and unfortunately, they lost today. 69-60 at Missouri. You keep playing with fire, you're bound to get burned. And the way they've been playing Thanks. lately, been exciting. Coming back from deficits against West Virginia, yeah. against Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt. And today they tried. They cut a, uh, well, at one time it was 11 or so. Uh, Early it was about 10 points, got it down to one. Yep. Then it ballooned back. And, ballooned and then they back. got it all the way back down to about, about six. Five, five. Yeah, five, one, five. five. But it was already too late. So they couldn't get it done today. So if you keep playing like that, you're going to get burnt. Now, on the other hand, there's other teams. Now, now Kentucky's 21st in the country. And let's be honest. This year, the Cats have not played with consistency. Uh, their stars have not really starred out that much for consistency yeah, I mean, for the whole year. Well, I mean, you know, say it's, honestly, it's a different player that's been the leader on the team, but basically every game. Every game. and But there's other teams that are supposedly way better than they are and I have see, a ranking next to their name, well, and they I, struggle just as well, much. I mean, what, I see, well, well, you know what, as far as I really... Really, when it comes down to, I guess the rankings, hell, they're just a number next to your name. They don't mean well, much. This year, I this see, year, I see. You know, it's you probably you probably think it's supposed to mean something, but it doesn't mean all that much. Okay, years past, it would mean something. Yeah, like Duke today okay, lost Duke. to St. John's. Right. right, Duke, number four in the country, one of the best, one of the most explosive offenses in the nation. They go on the road and lose to St. John's. Neutral court, neutral uh, court, eighty-one seventy-seven, and this right. is the St. John's team that's winless in Big East play, zero and eleven. Okay, so how do you explain that? And years past, a number four team in Duke, still ranked number four at this point in the season, should be light years away from a unranked St. John's team. Now, I'm not saying they would win all the time and there would never be any upsets, but when it's no longer upsets when it consistently happens. Now we have to ask, what's wrong with college basketball? And I don't want to hear this St. John's team had upperclassmen and all that, because guys... Still, to be honest with you, eventually, towards the end of the season in March, regardless of what you think of upperclassmen, the Michigan States might win a championship, maybe Purdue, but really, it might end up being a Kentucky gets hot and wins, or Duke you know, gets hot. And their main people from Duke are freshmen, and, and, and Kentucky are freshmen. Now, Duke might have some sophomores, of course, Grayson Allen, you know, with him being a senior. Mm -hmm. But still, I mean, you kind of agree with that, right? Yeah, I, I see, yeah, in a way, but okay, you know, as I say, okay, look, I see it's 2018. The college, the landscape of college ball is entirely different than for what it was 20 years ago, or oh, hell, even 10 years ago. I just say, well, definitely 20 years ago, you necessarily didn't catch, you know, consistent upsets basically every every, every other, week, every week, or every other day like you do now. No, I just say, just like it, and basically, you know, the smaller schools are step up and saying, okay, look. I just say we know the big we know the big name schools, you know. I said they've had all the glory for a long time. The smaller schools are saying, hey, we want a little bit of the glory too. Right. And uh who knows what's gonna happen next week. I mean Kentucky does have a chance. So Kentucky's gonna be out of the top twenty five. They should be again. They were twenty one. They had a uh they barely sneaked by on Tuesday. They lost today by nine. Yeah, nine. yeah. So they'll they'll be out. Of, they'll they'll go from twenty one. The best they could hope for is they drop to twenty five. But we know it's not going to happen. But good news is, as long as Tennessee holds on tonight and wins, they play. They would play a ranked Tennessee team at Rupp Arena, and then they go on the road to who? Texas A and M. If they win both of those games, me and Jay both believe they would be back into the top twenty five because Tennessee's probably going to be about nineteen yeah. or eighteen next week. Yeah, probably. Probably. I guess, you know, I guess well, basically the best just have to wait and see. And that would, you really then, and I know Kentucky's lost some games, but if you really look at Kentucky's uh, resume, Virginia Tech's played a little bit better as of late, I think. Yeah, they have a little bit as of late. I think they were trying to come back tonight. Virginia Tech's played okay. Louisville, Louisville. has done average. Okay. Okay. Yeah. West Virginia is a good win. Yeah, see, even though West Virginia's been on a bit of a slide. But it's still beating six. a seven, right? They were seven when we played them. Yeah. And then you got, if you beat Tennessee, that would be another top 25 team that you knocked off. And yeah. then you would get a chance of knocking off Auburn, possibly. And then if Florida could somehow, I think Florida needs to get re-ranked, right? Cause I, are they out of the ranking? Well, they're number 23, but they already lost. They already lost. So if, let's say Florida somehow found their way back in top 25. And then Kentucky would beat Florida. 
you could be talking about three or four wins against top 25 teams, and their resume would help their seeding just a little bit. Yeah, I understand. Well, just a little bit. Um, okay. Let's look at the... That, okay, okay. Looking at, looking at the scoreboard. Um, okay. West Virginia. Speaking of West Virginia, number 15, they're blowing out Kansas State right now. Uh, Virginia, number two in the country. They beat Syracuse on the road, 59-44. Number three, Purdue, hangs on for a 78-76 oh win at Rutgers. We didn't even know that, guys. That's Purdue's 19th straight win. They should have lost that game, right? You're, they, you're number three they team. Came cl- I just said they came close. Rutgers made a huge comeback. Look at this. You're the number three team in the country. I don't care if you're at Rutgers. You're the number three team in the country. Rutgers is 12 and 13. They were 12 and 12 before this game happened. One or two of nine in the Big Ten Conference. Okay? You're supposedly the number three team in the country, and yet it takes you a three a two point win. That's all you can get against Rutgers. Well I know Kentucky lost, they so I don't hear anybody say, well, Kentucky lost, Purdue won. Well, the other night when Kentucky escaped with a win, everyone said, Oh, Kentucky just escaped, they got lucky. Well, Purdue, you just escaped and I'm, got lucky today against well, Rutgers. I mean, Okay, okay. As we said before, Duke ranked number four. They were up by seven at halftime over St. John's, and they lost. Lost the game. Okay, another one. Kansas. Kansas ranked seventh in the country. They okay. lose for the unprecedented third time this season at Allen Field. That's where it's, at damn, home. Where it's damn near, imp- almost damn near impossible to win there. Oklahoma's the latest bit. Oklahoma State comes to the Lawrence and wins. And uh, that gives Kansas five losses. Uh, so I think Kentucky's around five or six, say, ain't they? Well, there's six. Kentucky's six. So I mean, I don't see how this. What we've been talking about this too. How can Kansas lose three games at home and have six losses and still be in the top ten? Okay, okay, that yeah, that's Kansas' fifth loss, but yeah, that's well, fifth. I mean, yeah, I mean, fifth loss, but well, plus the Kentucky six, and I that's see, ridiculous. I, I, I'm guessing probably because the Big Twelve, you know, had more, you no. Know, Ranked teams because so right now they have five. They had Kansas, West Virginia, TC, no, not TCU, Texas Tech, um, Oklahoma, and I almost forgot. I believe it was a okay, Kansas, West Virginia, Texas Tech, Oklahoma, and I could have swore I thought it was a fifth one, but I might be wrong. Oklahoma lost, didn't they lose twice this week, or they lost once? Um, or they lose twice. I thought Trey Young couldn't do it again. I think he got upset again, didn't he? I believe. Wait a minute. And Hold on. Florida. Oh, okay. Now we got to know. Okay. Alabama goes to Gainesville and handily beats number 23, Florida. 63, 68. So Florida, to you're out. Like, we talked about Kentucky. And now, okay. That's back to back conference losses for Florida. Yeah, they're, they're and I believe, out. I believe that's their third loss in the last. That was at Gators. Four games. That was and at Florida. It was in Gainesville. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, so be- okay, so basically, know the point is coming down to with the madness of college basketball so far this season, and it's just in it's early February. You got about five more selection Sundays, five weeks from tomorrow. Um, Minnesota just- uh, hang- or Michigan hangs on and beats Minnesota in overtime by three points, and Michigan's ranked twenty fourth. I would say so. I say so. Y'all know what? Ex- I would say March Madness is going to be a whole lot more madder than usual. Uh, it's, I'm it's, trying to see if that shows me. It's going to be a, if Oklahoma's lost their last whole one. Whole lot of Vanders. Uh, I'm one, I'm hoping Vanderbilt. Oh no! Wait a minute! No, over. wait a minute! Don't remember Oklahoma won earlier this week against Baylor. By two. They came back. They came back. Remember? That's right. Okay. Yeah, we were worried that night that Kentucky's gonna end up losing, and we thought Oklahoma okay. would lose. Didn't we think Duke was gonna lose too? And then Duke came. Was it Duke that night? Remember, it's no, three teams. I, it was, it was no, Xavier. It was, no, it was Oklahoma, Xavier, and, and yeah. They had but all. all of them ended up winning. That's right. Okay. So if you guys, well, I see, just yeah. put it this way, I don't I think just, you agree with this. I'm, no team is dominant this year. No. Anybody in the top no. fifty? Anybody in the top fifty come in see a tournament? Anybody in the top sixty four? And yes, I'm saying sixteen seats. I'm talking about the play in game. Can win the championship this year? Forget well, it. Well, I'm. Well, I mean, you know, strange, stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. This could this be the year sixteen beats a one? We say it every year. Everybody tries to predict it. I, I say right now sixteen beat a one. That way I get lucky. I think it used to be if you say that you had like less than a one percent chance that it was going to happen. Right now I feel like I have like a twenty percent chance 
it may happen because of the way this year's been. <laughs> well, you know what, man? I don't. I said, I what do you think? Mad, this, I don't like. I said this is gonna be a mad, mad tournament. I said it's gonna be a mad, mad tournament. Just have to wait five weeks from tomorrow when Selection Sunday arrives. So, guys, if we didn't mention earlier, we said who we were: local John eighteen twelve and. J Rod eighty four. This is the sports update for the weekend. We should have said that at the very beginning, but we had so much to talk about. We wanted to jump right on it. So, all right, okay, okay, let okay, let me switch. Let's switch gears for just a minute. Okay, I'll turn. Okay, let's okay, let's try the okay. Let's go to the NBA for a second. All right. Okay, let's hit the end. Okay, the NBA. Let's look at. Okay, like you said, you know, the re- well, the reserves for the All Star game, you know, they were announced uh, last week. Uh, Let's see if we can find. Probably, probably has you no know, some of the more notable names on there. Of course, you had you had a couple injuries and stuff yeah, recently. It. Yeah, but you had a couple of you no know, injuries. I would say, you no know, John Wall and De- will be out for six weeks. Uh, Demarcus Cousins, who's in the All Star team, he's out for the rest of the year. Who's Muhammad? Shabazz Muhammad seeking exit from Wolves. Do you know not, it? Uh, not for sh- not for sure. I don't know who's seeking that. Mm. Let's see if we can find. Uh, Let's see, we'll there's be- the All Star game, but I don't know where the All Star roster is. Okay, well, well, you know, the, uh, honestly, we know that probably won't matter. Uh, probably, probably know just a, no, a few NBA notes. Okay. Um, Okay, let's say like recently Houston's James Harden like became the first NBA player to throw a sixty point triple double. He did it earlier this week. Sixty points, uh, ten rebounds, eleven assists. Video steals. game numbers. Yeah, he basically put up video game numbers in the win over Orlando. That's 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 a video game right there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's been, yeah, that's basically you know video game. Uh, it looks like the only game went final so far today yeah. so, is the Clippers uh, and yeah, Bulls. Yeah, the LA Clip. Yeah, the LA Clippers. Who who recently traded another one of the big name players, Blake Griffin, to the Pistons, to Detroit, and if he stays healthy, it could really help the Pistons out. Yeah, because okay. if we go, let's go look at the because uh, that's the only games that that have finalized. Let's look at the standings. Okay, okay. Now we we'll look at the let's see that, we'll look at the current standings. I thought All Star Weekend was this weekend. I was getting really excited about no, it. Okay, the Eastern Conference. Okay, Boston, the top seed, or the number at one. Toronto's to Cleveland, which is kind of struggling on defense, is struggling mightily on defense. Number three, Washington at four, and the next five, the next four: are Miami, Milwaukee, Indiana, and Philadelphia. The Pistons, the Pistons are a game and a half out of the eighth spot. Of the eighth spot with Philly. East. So if we go to the West, in the West, Golden Golden State, of course, holding the NBA's best record, forty-one eleven. Houston. This number two, San Antonio is three, Minnesota number four. Okay, then next we got Oklahoma City, Portland, New Orleans, and Denver. And I then the Clippers, the, the Clippers, which won today, are a half game out of the eight spot. So, Memphis Grizzlies, way nice. It's been a while since I've seen the Grizzlies so far down. Yeah, you know it. That's not a familiar spot for them no. that far. And the Mavericks, too. I mean, is Dirk Nowinski still even playing? I mean, he shouldn't be playing. He's old. He's, he's still playing. Still I playing. Said, I said, he's going to, far enough to say, he's going to retire a Maverick. He's going to retire. Oh, yeah. Did he uh, spend his whole career one team? I think so. Let's see. We'll prob- um, we all heard about Phoenix, and we heard about, uh, oh, no, wait a minute. Did something happen to Isaiah Cannon for Phoenix? Yes. Yeah, yes, he's, he's hurt. a horrific leg injury. Yep. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I would say, you know, also New Orleans, they're holding on to the seventh spot right now. Say they lost to Marcus Cousins for the year. For the year. And I say, but. Anthony Davis is picking it up. Yeah, Davis is picking it up. He recently became the Pelicans' all time franchise scoring leader. And then, uh, let's see, the Wizards lost uh, Wall. Yeah, I say the, yeah, the Wizards lost John Wall. So that might affect Washington a little bit. Uh, yeah, that will. And I would say, I wish I, I, wish I had the video pulled up. I said, because Denver, I said, because it was a recent game this past Thursday night between Denver and Oklahoma City, Jamal Murray, a former Kentucky, former Kentucky guy, nicknamed also known as the Blue Arrow. I don't. I saw the video where he just basically broke Stephen Adams' ankles, knocked down the three. If I had to look at that, I had to look at that video like two or three times. Like what? What just happened? Yeah. Like what in the hell just happened? 
in about three to six years, a lot of your main stars will be from Kentucky. Nothing against other stars from other teams, but a lot of the well, bigger I names just, right now are Kentucky players. Yeah, that is no one say probably. Yeah, I mean, cause yeah. that's just how Kentucky. John runs. Wall, Demarcus Cousins, Eric Bledsoe, uh, Davis, Davis, Cousins, Booker, Booker. I mean, I, Murray. I mean, are we lying? Are we making? We're not making stuff up. We are not yeah, making I mean, stuff up. Yeah, I have to say that. Okay. Uh, one one injury we didn't say which could have some little bit of some issue is the Cleveland Cavaliers lost Kevin Love. Yes, yes, they did lose Kevin Love to, uh, for six to eight weeks, and I mean, you know, I say well, right? I said right now, I mean, Cleveland's got some issues. I mean, you know, ever ever since Christmas Day, like this, like they've been on a bit of a tailspin, kind of. Right. I mean, I said their defense has been bad. I mean, I said I don't know whether and well, I mean, you got to figure a lot of the players on the team, you know, are you know kind of getting up there somewhat. And and also shifting gears from basketball to another type of ball, football. Obviously, the important day coming up tomorrow. Yep. To Super, Super Bowl, Bowl Fifty Two. Now, the most important thing about tomorrow night's Super Bowl is not if Tom Brady can get it done again. It's not if Gronk is going to survive the whole game without getting another concussion. And it sure in the heck ain't nothing about anything that has to do with Philly. What it is, is the halftime show. Now, apparently, the halftime oh, show, goodness. I heard some rumors. Now, who's going to be there? Um, Justin Timberlake is the headliner. But I heard some more rumors. Okay? Did you hear that maybe in sync, maybe showing up to the halftime show? As, as a big maybe, I... You know, oh, I'm I, sure. Because that's, that's I'm the not, thing now. I'm not sure. I heard they were. I mean, I, Puppet strings and all. Well, that's the thing now. I, for I, somebody from back in the day to come and make a guest appear, appearance at the Super Bowl during the song or two. But guess who else may show up? Janet Thanks, Jackson. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Okay. Okay. Let's say, okay. My, okay. My thing on that is this. Okay. I say because first of all, when they announced the Justin was going to be... The halftime performer. I kind of got that feeling they were going to bring up that incident. But come on. Boobies. That happened 14, count them, 14 years ago. Really? Yes, 14. Oh, God. Justin Jim Timberlake is now 62. Uh, no, no, he's not 62. No, he's not 62. He's, honestly, he's 30, he's in 30 ish. Honestly, he's going to say 30, When that happened to 30, Justin, 30. he was only 12. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, th this one right here is just. Okay, mainly what I was saying, you know, the whole thing with Justin and Janet. Okay, yeah, that ha yeah, that happened. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have left her out to dry. But you know what? Okay, let it go. As far as I'm concerned, it's been 14 years. Time enough passed. Let this, let just let, please let it go. I mean, hell, it's not the first time that you've seen a woman. It's not the first time that you've woman's seen woman's body parts. Woman's body part on TV. Hell, it ain't gonna be the last time either. So as far as I'm concerned, just just let that go. Just let Justin do his thing at the show and. Oh, I'm like, okay, let's let him do his thing of the show. I wonder let what it be. I wonder what the Sibet. is it cutting it <laughs> We cut we cut Jay off. Sorry about that guy. So, sorry, sorry, y'all. I'm I mean, wondering I'm just looking at this right here, okay? Uh, you're taller than him. <laughs> apparently there's been I just looked over here. We get off and thanks for ESPN, you guys are great. You have all the great stories. But uh, you can go over on ESPN.com right now. And there's a uh, belief in the underdog story. Four million dollar uh, bets uh, placed on Eagles in Super Bowl. Okay. Four million dollars. Four million. Oh, there's gonna be a noise up there. I said, well, look at you. If I gotta press. Uh, even for four press million. Press the speaker. I press pause. Just even, press the speaker. Even for four million dollars, I'm not. I'm not betting on anything or anybody. For somebody. No somebody placed a one million dollar. Money line bet on the Eagles at a hundred uh, uh, plus one fifty five odds in Philly. So if he wins that, the unnamed better would net a one million five hundred and fifty thousand dollar profit. So wow, wow, wowzers, as Inspector Gadget would say. Wow, wow, wubsy. Um, I mean, you know, I said, well, even even if I were a gambling person like that, I would not. Bet no four million dollars on anything or anybody. Hell, I wouldn't even bet forty dollars. Um. Now, may, now maybe if, maybe you know, if it was a team that 
if you know for two teams, one of which I know for sure is going to win. Maybe so. I I, said, but I'm, I'm not doing that. I can't do it. I I would like to get online. Maybe I maybe I put twenty dollars on the Eagles. Wonder how much money I'll you win. can. I, well, I mean, you know, say you can if you can if you want to. Be nice. I just say you know it would be nice. But we don't encourage that. I just say I would. I'm just thinking hypothetically. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I just say what well, I say. Well, anyway, okay. I see. You know, as far as the game's concerned, okay. I'm sure a lot of people you know probably rooting for the underdog Eagles to win because, like I said. It's, well, hell, it's been 13 years since the Eagles have been to the Super Bowl against the Patriots. I don't see, you know, I'm sure they would love for the Eagles to win. I mean, considering, you know, they lost Carson Wentz, you know, for the year. Because probably, you know, a lot of people probably wrote the Eagles off after Carson Wentz went down. I can't believe they're in there. I see, but Nick Foles stepped right into his place, and he got the Eagles there. And Gronk had a concussion protocol issue. He got out of the concussion protocol. He spoke to the media a couple days ago, or a day or so ago. He'll be at the Super Bowl. He'll play, but he's just like it's just like him with Travis Kelsey. You, they're great players on the field, but you know they're one hit away because these guys yeah. play. They're so big, and they just play. Yeah, and, and their foot to the pedal, and they say, go. Yeah, like they're so fast on the field. Yeah, they so. they just throw everything caution to the side and just say, "If I'm going to get hurt, I'm going to get hurt." Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's that's basically been the million dollar question for the last couple of weeks: Is Gronk going to play? Well, you know what? I guess just have to wait and see when we find out tomorrow evening. Right. He'll play. And He's I mean, gonna play. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, see, y'all already know I can't stay in New England, but it's it's almost it seems like it's almost impossible to go against them, especially when you got, especially when you got Tom Superman Brady, you know, leading the team at quarterback. <laughs> right. I just say, well, you know what? Anyway, and anyway, it should be a entertaining game tomorrow. I mean, don't say Brady wins. Yeah, he great. I just say, you know, Brady, he'll be considered one of the greatest. You know, well, probably in most people's opinions, the greatest NFL quarterback for sure. They in, already talked definitely. about him like as like the best athletes. They put him up there with Jordan's name already, and I, I think it deserves to be there. And I tell you, I tell you another name that deserves to be there. No one, a lot of you might get angry about this, but it's definitely Floyd Mayweather. Period. Well, I'm, I'm surprised. Well, why not? You know, I'm what surprised saying? nobody has. I mean, he he I deserves mean, to be there. Well, hell, he's he retired fifty and zero right. in boxing. Although probably some people probably don't consider boxing a like a main a mainstream sport. But well, as of lately, I'm say, well, boxing yeah, ratings, boxing late ratings and stuff as lately has been outdoing um, UFC. Well, I mean, you know. The, well, I mean, you know, I see. I watched. I used to watch UFC a long time ago, but I, I guess that's that's kind of died down. I remember uh, someone came in here. Uh, no, George St. Pierre came back not too long ago. So UFC and that really helped them because they need names back. But mm-hmm. yeah, I'm trying to get this to pull up. I bet she's gonna die. Dang it! But anyways, uh, so I don't know who everyone has in the Super Bowl coming up. If I had to guess, I don't have a dog in a fight. I may even watch just bits and pieces of the game. What yeah. I'm going to love about tomorrow is wherever I go, maybe they have some little sausage links you put on some toothpicks that are dipped in barbecue sauce <laughs> and some cheese ball or something. You know, something like that. That's what I'm really going to love tomorrow. Now, if Kansas City was playing, I'd be more excited for the game. But they're not. So, tomorrow, uh, I'm not rooting against Brady. I'm not rooting against Brady. I don't care if Brady wins another one. I think him and Joe Montana need to be put up there in the conversation as best quarterbacks that have ever played our game. Mm-hmm. And uh, I prefer Joe Montana because he never lost a Super Bowl at all. Yeah, I, Tom yeah, Brady's lost I, two. I just, yeah, I said, yeah, I said Brady, Brady's lost two. And I don't mean, you know what I'm saying. Now, well, I've already saw on the internet, you know, trying to quit. Better, better professional athlete, Brady or Jordan. Okay, Brady, this is Brady's eighth Super Bowl. He's 5-2. Jordan has won six titles. He's six to zero in the NBA Finals, and now you probably have to give the edge to Jordan. I mean, af- athleticism—it's a no-brainer. Jordan was more athletic yeah. than Tom Brady ever thought of being. Even at Tom Brady doing his health kick now, Jordan was still more athletic because his job required constant movement up Correct. and down the court. Correct. I just said it's not a—it's not—and we're not taking nothing away from Tom Brady. We're just saying athleticism. 
if they ran a, what's it called, a triathlon, or tri, I'm not saying it right, am I? A triathlon, yeah. Triathlon. If they ran that, Jordan would beat him. Yeah. Uh, that's easy. Well, pro- and uh, a sprint, just, yeah, you run, come on. I don't sit down and know well, you probably, well, I guess, I don't know. Jordan definitely was faster, jumping I higher. Know. I don't know, you might, well, I don't know. Okay, Jordan Jordan retired from the game at 35, okay? Like, he won all his NBA titles, all six of his titles between the ages of 28 and 35. Brady, Brady's 40 and going for his sixth Super Bowl ring. How many in this, would this be two in a row? Uh, yes. Okay. And ironically, did he lose both of his other ones? He lost, did he lose both of them to the Giants or one to the Giants? Both of them, Super Bowls 42 and 46. Was that Eli and Eli? Yes. Eli's better than Peyton. Oh, no, no, I'm just messing around. Yeah, both, both of them. Are both, are, both of them are good. Yeah. Both, both of them are real good. Too. Peyton's probably has more accol- accolades and, and more accomplishments than his brother. Yeah. His brother got there first, though. Didn't his brother win his? No. Uh, his brother got the two before. No, what? No, uh, no. Peyton won Super Bowl forty one with the Colts. Yeah. Eli won Super Bowl forty two. With the Giants. Giants. And then didn't Eli win his second Super Bowl before yes. his brother won his second? Yes. Eli okay. won Super Bowl 46, Peyton Super Bowl 50. Oh, another big news happened in the NFL real quick. We get to talk about my Kansas City Chiefs real quick. Alex Smith is gone. He's a Washington Redskin. We did get somebody in the trade, and we got like a second or third round draft pick. And boy, oh boy, it's a corner. We got a corner from the Redskins, and I cannot remember his name. And I'm going to look him up. But the big point of it is, Patrick Mahomes is the starter for Kansas City now. And that's that's the big thing. People don't really understand uh, why Kansas City would do this. But I'm going to tell you why. Alex Smith couldn't get him over the hump. He played really well, but he couldn't get him over the hump. You need that guy. Right? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes is that guy. <laughs> um, kind of big... See, they even right here on ESPN again, NFL trade in January, why Alex Smith deal was possible. And I'm trying to look. Um, oh, that's another big thing. Rams will play the Chiefs in Mexico. Did you see that? Okay. 2018. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a good game. And then there it is right there. Fuller. That's it. Redskins trade. And then DJ... It was like a team. Swearinger. Yeah. yeah. No, Redskins for trading cor- QB Fuller. I forgot his first name. But he's a he's a corner. And that would be good to go on the other side of Peters. And you also now are going to have Fuller, Peters, and you still have um, no fly zone. No, or, uh, no, Revis Island. Sorry. You still have Darrell Revis. Now, Revis will come back, I think. For another year, but it's not like it's not going to be like uh, it was a thirty-three year old, just like Alex Smith, but it was not. It's not going to be like Revis is important, important. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like Fuller is going to be your number two by Peters. Revis will go to three. That'll help Revis not have to be on the field as much. Mm. So yeah, yeah, something, but Kendall uh, Fuller. So that's. I mean, I think Kansas City got. They already have a starting quarterback in position with Patrick Mahomes. You got Kendall Fuller help help out Peters on the other side in corner, right? And you also got like a second or third round pick along with it. So the Chiefs got one heck of a deal. Now, who starts over in Washington? Mm. You made the trade for Alex. You can assume Alex Smith will be the starting quarterback. Because I, I, I mean, don't they have like Kirk Cousins over there? And yes, there's another one too. Cousins took somebody's spot because they got injured. If I'm right, I believe it's Robert Griffin, the former Heisman Trophy winner, Robert Griffin the third. So we'll see. I, yeah, I, yeah, I see. You know, this I see the NFL offseason will be pretty interesting. Yeah. Yep. So so long, Kirk Cousins. Yeah. So you look for that trade to come to uh, soon. Maybe Kirk Cousins gets traded. I don't know. Uh, a lot of NFL stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah, that is say, of course. Like I say, no, tomorrow's a big game. It's going to be probably a whole lot of, you know, a lot of trading, you know, we, we see for the NFL offseason. I see, you know, the NBA, NBA is still going on. I would say, mm-hmm. well, hopefully by the time we do the next show, I would say we'll have the complete rosters for you for the All-Star game. Right. Which is February 18th. 
yeah, we'll wait until next weekend and make sure. Because if we tell you the rosters now, which we I could pull it up if I looked real quick. But, hell, heck, I tell you right now, and then guess what happens? Someone gets hurt. Yeah, some, yeah, some, somebody, somebody gets hurt. hurt. Somebody has Someone to gets hurt. Win. So, uh, it, look, NBA, ooh, the skill challenge. I like that. Yeah, I just say no NBA All Star Week. Did Did Murray win it last year? The skill challenge. Yes. And he's gonna defend his. Yes. I'd like to see yeah, Murray see, winning yes. it. I see. Yeah, you got the skills. I see. You got the NBA skills challenge. Three point shooting. Who three won point three point class. last year? Uh, damn it! I think it's. If I'm right, I think it was Clay. Was it Clay? And um, the year before that was Curry, then Curry, then Clay? Uh, I think so. Something, Something like, like that. that. Y'all said the slam dunk contest. What? I forgot who's in that. I can't even tell you who won last year. Hell, was I, it Levine that won last year, or was he hurt? It might, it might have been Levine. But everybody thought the other guy should have won? I don't know. Gordon? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, we don't know. <laughs> we just I'm don't know. I don't see you know, but basically, I mean, you, I mean, you say, okay, you got stuff going on, okay, you got the NBA going on, you got the college regular season in you know, basketball going on. It's um, trying to wind itself up. You got NASCAR coming around the corner. Said, yeah, that, yeah, NASCAR is coming around the corner. I got me a Chase Elliott Little Caesar car today. I don't have it with me. It'd be nice to show everyone. I just, seen, I mean, I'm saying golf. If you're interested in golf, it's still continuing. yeah. Tiger ain't playing, so yeah. I don't know if Tiger is. Maybe start. I don't know. I see a lot of you tennis fans and see you can watch a bunch of tennis if you like. There's been some Friday night boxing lately, Saturday night boxing. There's WWE just had the Royal Rumble last week, which was exciting. A lot, of, especially in the women's Royal Rumble, it's crazy. Like Lita came back, Trish Stratus came back. Unbelievable. Kelly really Kelly. Cool. I couldn't believe it. Pretty cool. Holly. Yeah, Molly Holly was there. Kelly. Was, yep. It was, it's crazy that all the people that did come back. I was so uh, excited for Lita and Trish. And then, um, who else came back on the men's side? Uh, oh, Rey Mysterio. That was huge. No, I didn't ever think I'd see Rey Mysterio back, and that was pretty cool. Oh, Vicky Guerrero came out saying, oh, excuse me, real loud. She slapped a girl in the face, but then got thrown over the ropes. Mm. I did not, I missed the most important match of the night, besides the Royal Rumble match itself. I missed the Brock Lesnar and Kane and Braun Strowman match, because I was, like, trying to find... Oreo cookies and milk at the store. And when I came back, there was a woman, women's match on or something. And so when I came back, I thought it would still be on and I would be all right. I came back and they were already into the women's Royal Rumble. And I go, well, heck, it's winding down real fast. The better help get to the men's main event championship match. And they were like, earlier it was a crazy match with Brock Lesnar. I was like, what? I messed it. But it was cool. Brock Lesnar won. So it's good. No, it's not. And also, oh, uh, Nakamura, Sustain, Sustain, or y'all know, uh, won the stupid Royal Rumble. I mean, guys, they got to quit pushing Roman Reigns. Uh, they pushed him a year ago or so. And they then, push and him. then they're trying to push anybody He's got new. Fans. They're trying to push anybody new. And I, they don't earn it. These part timers don't earn it. And then people say they're not part timers. They're every night. Okay. Go ahead, Jay. Keep going. Okay. I said, okay. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura. Saying, okay, John was in the middle of his uh, wrestling co- Royal Rumble. This is part two of the commentary. episode. Don't worry about the Royal Rumble content. If Royal Rumble content, it's over with. Go to WWE Network, nine ninety nine a month. Get it, subscribe, watch the rest of it. <laughs> Guys, it's been a long show. I hope you made it to the second part of the video, which is basically our closing part. Yeah. And, uh... Jay, you got anything else to say? Uh, no, that's it. no, I don't have too much to say. Honestly. I know it's been, you know, I just think, you know, this is our you know, sec- second show of the year. I just think, you know, I just think we just, you know, try to make sure you're getting, you're getting to have, you know, doing it more consistently. Well, we've done uh, two shows this year. Well, yeah. we started in February, right? Basically, we missed well, January. I just, I just, well, we basically started late in Jan- late late January. Late in January. So this is the second show in the last two and a half weeks, so. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Getting there. Yeah. I just said, not say, well, I just said, probably what we'll try to do is maybe do, I just said, maybe do a little bit um, longer show. I just said, well, prob- well, that's, we'll probably try to do a tournament, I just said, our own you know, NCAA tournament preview for you. We might even at, do a at, live broadcast during March Madness if we can get some days off together. <laughs> oh, say, my Lord. Could you, and if I get my LG camera, which I'm working on that, guys, oh, me and Jay's going to be able to like run around places and scream and holler and throw things at the camera. 
That's no, it. you're not. I said, no, we ain't going to be that. Because I'm probably going to be the one holding the camera. I'm going to be like, yeah. I said, no, we ain't going to be that. I said, we ain't going to be that crazy now. At least I'm not. But You know I might. <laughs> so, guys, we'll be back soon. Probably next week, right? Yeah. Okay. And we hope we come back after Kentucky beats Tennessee and maybe over the weekend when they play, and we'll be back soon. So I just said, I just said, we'll give y'all more of the, uh, we'll give y'all more of the sports madness, NBA, you know, uh, I said college, NHL, I said whichever. Yeah. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. We really appreciate if you guys do all those things, and we'll see you next week with another video. All right. It's been weekend sports update. See you guys. Take care, y'all.